Hey friends, welcome to my channel where I share simple DIYs and affordable home improvement projects. In this video, I want to share how we made this privacy wall. We built this outdoor couch and made these cushions as well. If you want to see how, please click the info button or check the link in the description. Let's get to the privacy wall. We made this wall using 1x2s and 2x4s. As this will be standing outside, we got pressure treated wood. Also, if you think the wall will be standing on the ground, check the tag and make sure it says intended for ground contact. Since we plan on using wheels, we didn't worry about it. Another tip is to check each and every 1x2 before putting them in your cart. You will need only straight ones for this project. The plan is to nail these 1x2s as shown here. They will be nailed against a 2x4 that is standing behind. Start by cutting 2x4s to size. We decided to have 3 legs that are 2 feet wide and 3 posts that are 6 feet high. While calculating the height of the posts, consider the height of the base frame, legs and the wheels if you plan on using them. Here are my three posts and three legs. Next part is sanding. I don't know about you but I don't like sanding. But since this is just an outdoor wall, we don't have to sand them super smooth. I used a 180 grit paper and an orbital sander to sand them lightly. Let's make the base frame now. Attach the legs to a 2x4 as shown here. Mark the centers of both the 2x4s before screwing them in. Quick tip, anytime you want to add screws, it is a good practice to drill a pilot hole first to avoid any cracks or stripping and it will also guide the screw properly and you don't have to use much pressure while adding the screw. Now get those posts and drill pocket holes on one side. These will be attached to the base frame. Here are my three posts with the pocket holes drilled and now let's attach it to the base frame. We chose to make a correct joint here while attaching the post to the base frame but if you have the tools and some patience, I would recommend making a stronger joint since we will be adding some weight to these posts very soon. Now that the frame is done, we have to get our slats ready. We sanded them all in batches. Again, they don't have to be super smooth, so I used 180 grit sanding paper and sanded them lightly. Get two of those slats and nail them vertically along the edges of the posts on either side. They will act as a border for all the horizontal slats and it will give a finished look. Now 
now you have to measure the distance between the vertical slats we just added and cut all the other slats to size i know it's a pain but it will be worth it and don't forget your safety gear like i did now the fun part paint all the slats and frame using roller you can do this in batches too it's actually pretty satisfying The last step is to nail all of these slats to those posts. We used a 0.5 inch spacer which made life much easier and we used 2 inch nails. Our privacy wall will be standing on concrete and I wanted an option to move it whenever I want. So we decided to add wheels. I ordered these from Amazon and they have a locking system too. In total, we added 6 wheels under all the 3 legs and now we finally have a movable privacy screen. We found a small issue here. Since we added wheels, the wall became less stable, so we decided to add some extra support. I found these wire hooks on Amazon and I used these to tie the wall to our pergola. This is to make sure that the wall doesn't fall when there is heavy wind. I just have to cut this extra length and in case I ever want to move the wall, I just have to remove this small hook. If you don't want these extra strips, just don't add wheels. Your wall will be stable and strong because of wide legs on the ground. We are so happy how this turned out and we are spending much more time outdoors this summer.
I hope you like this video and if you do, please like this video and subscribe for more fun projects.